This is some information on how to service and change oil in a Comet VRX2422V vertical shaft pump. When I contacted Comet and asked them how to change oil in this pump, they really couldn't give me a lot of information other than it held 5 ounces of 30 weight non-detergent oil. I later found out that this pump is sealed for life, but if you're particular with your equipment, like I am, you'll probably want to change the oil in it. And so, I'm showing you a way to do so. I ordered this pump as a replacement for my Craftsman pressure washer. The pump on the pressure washer had worn out and was leaking oil. This pump bolts up directly to the Craftsman bolt pattern. You can remove these four Allen screws and rotate that bracket to suit your installation. Replacement seal kits are available for this pump. This is a photo of the three Allen screws that retain this pump. To change oil in this pump, loosen the three Allen screws shown here. Don't remove completely. This will be spring-loaded. Then you can pour out the old oil and pour in 5 ounces of 30-weight non-detergent new oil. Be sure that the o-ring stays in place and you may want to retain it with a little bit of grease. This o-ring will be reusable. The main oil seal can be replaced and it is available at any auto parts store and here is showing the part number. To replace this seal, the hub, the bearing, you will need a press. Unless you have access to a press, please don't undertake this. This pump uses a double row ball bearing. The bearing number can be cross-referenced and should be available at any auto parts store. This shows the bearing, the wobble plate, and the bearing part number. Do not use your press on the center of this wobble plate hub, it's far too fragile. You will have to make an adapter that's cut at an angle out of wood or metal or maybe even PVC pipe in order to press this wobble plate back into the bearing. This photo is looking down into the pump housing where the oil goes. Now the seal goes at the very bottom of this housing as shown in this photo. And this is a photo of the top of the housing. The pump housing and oil reservoir is shown here on its side. You must have a seal driver to drive this seal in without damage. In some cases you can take a socket and turn it around on an extension and use it as a seal driver. And this shows the seal installed. Always lubricate a new seal. This photo shows the two wobble plate bearing races and the bearing and the pump body showing where the three main pistons go. The wobble plate rotates and drives these three pistons in and out. Seals are used on all three piston plungers. Refer to the parts breakdown at the end of this video for proper placement. This o-ring seal should be reusable if not damaged. I hope these parts breakdowns will be visible when this video is made. If not, you can find these breakdowns on the web. If I remember correctly, I got these parts breakdowns from Comet's website. Websites that sell Comet pumps may also have these parts breakdowns. So little information is available on the web about this pump. So I hope what information and parts breakdowns I'm giving you here will be of some value to you. Thanks for watching my videos. See ya.